Well, Dragoneers, it is I, Hellgear. Welcome back to Merge Dragons. So, yeah, this dragon's back. And to those of you who don't know about this dragon, it's the werewolf dragon egg. Now, last Halloween, they did a Halloween dragon pack, and three particular dragons came out of it. The werewolf dragon was one of them. The wizard dragon was another one. And the Zomblin Dragon was the third one. Feel free to check those out. As always, remember to like, sub, and bell as we crack into this one. You already know when we get events that happen on Tuesday. They're not going to be around for long. So by Thursday, this is going to be gone. But before I get into that, there's something that also took place or that happened recently in camp. And I want to talk about that as well. But look at this. Arcadia is coming along. For quite some time now, they've been doing these chest offers in Arcadia. I haven't been getting any of them. But it's still nice to uh, figure things out. So I've opened up an area to get the Samba Dragon totem. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was in camp and that revolves around this thing this is apparently egg storage now egg storage was something that has happened before but the concept didn't stick around for too long because you could store a couple of eggs in the weird little crystals Kind of like the stuff that you get during the season pass. Let me let me just scoop forward here on the season pass. You know, the prism dragons, those are like one of my boys, right? Like this thing, right? The first bit of egg storage was a different version of these. I covered these in some past episodes where you would tap on them, you would choose an egg, and then they would store together. And afterwards, you would get like five or so eggs stored, and then you bought them with gems. Store your eggs safely. Tap the egg storage to see your eggs. Now, I haven't used this at all. All right. We got those regular coins. Of course, because I'm out of room. Anyway, let's get back to the werewolf dragon event and do some more work on this. As always, I want to wish everyone the best of luck when it comes to these events. There we go. That's why it didn't go to that because it was already healed. <sighs> the more you know. Rainbow. Is it raining outside? Hold on, I gotta check and see if it's raining outside. It's actually raining. 
Yep, let the rain come in. I just had to remind myself that it is still spring. It's the end of spring, but it's still spring. So of course, it's going to rain. <laughs> ah, this is some funky weather this year in the West. There's some real funky weather. Have my dragon hit this thing. Because you're all the way over there. And we'll just have you take that out. The summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. Remember that some that pool episode of The Simpsons where Martin got the got the pool, the really super big pool, and then it just couldn't fit everybody in it and ended up just blowing up from the weight. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Yep, I definitely remember that. Definitely remember that. Yep, I do. Yes, sir, I do. All right, then. That's going to be my spawn to Charm Farm. And I have to get out. I have to get over there. Okay. All right. Um, Good to have those. Like, last time I seen this decor, well, when you usually see this decor, it's for the skeleton dragon. Okay. Two more and I'll have the one that's worth a thousand. Right. 
I need another heart, please. Thank you. That made me feel better. What am I doing that for? Just go this way. Dummy. Use the, use the, use, use the fork. All right. Where was I? In my train of thought. Like, Nightmare Valley. It's like Summer Ween. I have to give Disney XD some credit. They've been killing it with these cart with these with the cartoons, man. They have like Amphibia, that was some that was a great cartoon. Owl House was a great cartoon. Like I didn't get to watch as much Owl House as I wanted to, but I did get to watch it. And I like the way I like this turn for Disney. It's a really good turn. Because um, so many people were so excited for Luz and Amity. It, it was nice. You know. I know this is, it's still early June and it's Pride Month and all that, right? We know this. And you know this, man. Right? But. There's more to it than just the gay aspect of things, you know. Actually, the anniversary of my cousin is coming up. Yeah, the anniversary, my cousin's wedding anniversary is coming up. Okay, sure, let's talk about pride stories. Um, Here's the thing. My cousin Liz got married in June. Apparently the whole wedding thing, it's, it's good luck to get married in June. That's why when you see all these things about wedding season, they happen in the month of June, that's why. Because apparently June weddings are meant to be good luck. Like, wedding pet couples that get married in June have a blessed marriage. That's also some of the busiest time for them, though. Moving on. So, my cousin Liz. Right? I was not only invited to the wedding, the, the family, but I was supposed to be one of the groomsmen. For the family. And. This was the first time. I actually went to. A lesbian wedding. Like. And and when I made my wedding speech. For the couple. I let them know. This is the first time I've been to a lesbian wedding. And. My cousin Liz. Her wife Carol. You know. Really nice people. you like. My cousin Liz has a has a very nice wife. You know, people look at me and they ask, "Well, what's your take on the homosexual community?" Right? And I go, "Well, I can't rip on you guys. Like it even if I wanted to rip on the the homosexual community, I can't." You know, and not just because of, ooh, geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, I have to merge these. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, geez. Um, I need one more. I need one more to be free. Like, I was the groomsman at my cousin's lesbian wedding. You know. It would be a true slap to the face 
to be against the the, the lesbian community, the, the homosexual community, if I was a real dick about how folks shouldn't be gay and wet and married. You know, that, that would just be, that'd be the biggest, like, conflict of what happened in my life. You know, my thing is, if you as a couple love, support and care for each other, it doesn't matter if it's two dudes, if it's two women, if it's one of each. If it's one of these other sexualities or two of these other sexualities that are out there, because um, there's more than just or not sexualities, these gender identifications out here. Let me say it like that. Like, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more of those. Eight. Okay. How am I going to pull this off? The old-fashioned way. That's how. I need another space. Or let me move it over. Okay. Moving it over, solve it. Like, who am I? To rip on gays. Right? It's like, who am I to rip on 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 gay people? Because somebody had the nuts to ask me this. Well, why are you so supportive of gays anyway? And I told them because I was the groomsman at my cousin's lesbian wedding. And her wife is one of the kindest, sweetest souls you'll ever meet. And as much as they love, care, and, su and support each other, it just made me smile knowing that they were happy like that. You know, there are still parts of the world that refuse to accept pride. You know? There, there are people in America that still refuse to accept pride. Like, a good example of this, and we'll, we'll use Disney. Actually, no, we'll use Nick, we'll use Nickelodeon for an example of this. Because Nick is, is back and forth with this madness, Right? There was an episode of Peppa Pig that was supposed to air, right? Now, the thing with this episode is the kid has two moms. And stupid ass parents, and I can literally call them this, stupid ass parents want to talk about how we shouldn't be teaching our kids this. You know, we can't call them ignorant. They know better. All right. They know about homosexuality and two moms being able to raise a child or, or in the case of Clyde McBride from the Loud House, two dads being able to raise a child. Right? They know about this. But the backlash be the backlash from that is just I will never understand this madness. I mean, I get it. These are young children, but 
here's the thing. Young children go through a lot, especially like foster kids, right? Foster kids go through a lot. So whether one of the moms decided to talk with her wife or her residential partner and decide, you know what, let's adopt the kid and raise him or her with love and support. Or if one of them went to the IVF clinic and did it the natural way, and then the two decided we're going to support our children with the love that they deserve. Kudos to them. You know, that's what I'm saying. Kudos to them. But for me to come out and be like, I can't support like homosexual unions. Um, I'm not going to say that. Like the LGBTQ hits home for me. You know, it, it hits home for me. And most of these things that hit home for me that I support, I'm not going to just all of a sudden change my opinion on that. You know, I, I'm just not going to do it. You know, it's just not happening. Uh, let me bust open this this chest in Arcadia and then call this an episode. I still need a better Nilla Dragon. All right, um, put this over here. There we go. Okay. There we are. Like, I can't be that guy. As much as somebody wants me to be that guy, I just can't be that guy. You know, I can't. You're going to have to find some other ignorant loser to be that guy. It's not going to be me. That's just real. I, I can't be that dude. I really can't. You know, I just can't. And I'm not going to. You know, there are just some things that people should not be. <laughs> and so jaded to sexual preference is one of them. You know.
this is not the same world as it was where a dude being in love with a dude could get you like killed or at least not in to the western part of the world where I live but seriously you know the old biblical ways are just that they're the old biblical ways they need to simply just fade from existence you know Marriage should be between two people who love, care for, and support each other, not just a man and a woman. I mean, if it's a man and a woman, fine. You're carrying on with the old Christian traditions and shit. But that's not the world that we live in today. We live in a very diverse world today. And... These old school idiocies just have to die out. They do. And when I say they have to die out, I mean they have to die out and never return. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck on this event. But for now, I take my dragons to camp because I'm done. Remember to like, sub, and bell. Trying to get to 2,000 subs. And I'll see you guys next time.